welcome and let's get started on these great mittens. I am using a six and a half millimeter crochet hook and I will be using two strands of the number four medium weight yarn and I will put those together or you can use one strand of bulky. Let's start with the slip knot. We're then going to do a chain. You can do a chain about five or six inches or 13 to 15 centimeters, whatever you'd like for the length of your cuff. I like a really long cuff, so I started with a chain 21. Remember, this will be doubled over. So for your next row, we're going to start in the second chain from the hook, and we're going to do single crochet all the way across. So do one single crochet in each chain all the way across. I'll see you at the end. We're now into the last stitch. So single crochet in that last stitch. We're then going to chain one and turn. So now we're going to start in the first stitch, but we're going to go into the back loop only. So normally we would go into here under both, but this time we're just going to do the back loop only and we're going to single crochet all the way across. By going into the back loop, this is going to give our ribbed look for the cuff. Once you've reached the end, be sure not to forget that last stitch. So you want to make sure every row has the same amount of stitches. So once you get to the end, we will chain one and turn. And now we're just going to repeat. So into that back loop, single crochet. So continue this pattern until you have about 8 inches or 20 centimeters, or when it fits around your wrist. Make sure you have enough room or stretch in your yarn. And also remember this will be doubled. So if you're going to be making this for someone else, you might just want to trace their hand just as a guide. Remember, this is just a guide. You will definitely have to make it wider, but for the length, it's going to give you a really good idea. So once you have your correct length, we will bring our ends together. So we're just going to stitch these together with slip stitches. So we're going to insert into that very first hook, and then we're going to slip into the other side, which is the chain stitch on the other side, and we're going to slip stitch. So just pulling it right through the two loops, which is really one loop if you're using um, a heavier weight yarn. So again, going into the stitch and into the other side, Make sure you're going under that chain, grabbing the yarn, and slip stitch. So we can just continue this the whole way down. Into the stitch, into the other side, and slip stitch.
and we have one more stitch to go. And there we go. So you can see it's created a little bit of a bump, but that will be on the inside because it will be rolled up like that. We can actually weave in our beginning yarn. We can now start the palm of the mitten. So we're going to put a single crochet at the end of each row. So just find the spot that you like, it doesn't really matter, just evenly along, put one single crochet at the end of each row. So I kind of like to just put mine under this stitch here. And on the other row it's really just one little uh, strand there. And then just go all the way around. When you've reached all the way back around to the beginning, here's my last stitch, we are not going to join. We are going to continue with single crochet. So going into that first stitch, we're just going to single crochet because we will spiral all the way up. So let's just continue with our single crochet. This is our starting point here that we can remember always to just check our stitches also want to make sure that it is wide enough. So I actually have quite a big hand, so I'm going to do an increase by two stitches for the width. So I'm going to put two single crochet into this stitch here, and then around the other side I'm going to add two single crochets as well. So you want to make sure that you have enough space for the width of your hand. And here on the other side I'm going to put my other increase. Remember, this pattern really isn't counting stitches, it is more about what size of hand you're making the mitten for. So we're going to continue doing these single crochet all the way around until we've reached the bottom of your thumb. So here you can see I've reached the bottom part of my thumb. And remember, this part here is our starting point. So from here we're going to do six slip stitches. So going in we're going to do slip stitch and we'll do six of them. If it's for a smaller hand obviously you'll do probably anywhere four, five, depending on how wide of a thumb you need to make. And this here is my sixth one. So if you kind of um, hold it into like a semicircle, you will see that will be half of the uh, circumference of what you're going to need. So now just single crochet around until you've reached that slip stitch that we started on this round. So here we have our six slip stitches. So what we're going to do is we're going to chain six because we're making our hole here. So we will chain six. So however many slip stitches you make, just do the same amount of chains on the opposite side to make the little hole. And then we're going to attach it on the other side into the uh, other single crochet from the round below. So then you'll see that your hole here will have six slip stitches on one side and six chains on the other. So let's just continue our single crochet around until we reach up to the chain stitches. Once you have reached the chain, we're just going to put a single crochet in the top of each chain.
So now we can just single crochet around and around until we reach the top of our fingertips. Once you've reached the top, we can now start our decrease. So for our decrease, we're gonna first put two single crochet together. So insert into the first, then insert into the second, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. That is a single crochet two together. So then we're just gonna do a single crochet and a single crochet. And then we're gonna repeat this. So single crochet two together. So going into the first stitch, pull up a loop, going into the second stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. So we're gonna just repeat this all the way around until you have approximately eight stitches left at the top. We can then cut the yarn and pull through. And then with your darning needle, we can close the top, bring it to the inside of the mitten and weave in. We can now start the thumb. So insert your hook into any stitch at the thumb and pull up the yarn. We will then chain one and we're going to single crochet all the way around. So just put one single crochet into each stitch. I have six on each side, so that means I have 12 stitches all the way around. If you think you need this a little wider to have more room or narrower, you can increase or decrease this circle as needed. And remember, we don't join the circle, we just continue single crocheting all the way around.
So just keep going around until you have reached the tip of your thumb. So once you've reached the top, we can then do a decrease. So for this decrease, we're going to do a single crochet decrease, or you can call it a two single crochet together, and then one single crochet, and we'll repeat this. So two together, and then a single crochet. And then just keep going around till you probably have about four stitches at the top. We can then cut our yarn, pull through, and weave in the end. So first we're going to pull the top part closed, and then bring it to the inside, and finish weaving in the end. Be sure to continue watching this video all the way to the end. I'm going to show you some fun tips and tricks to do with your yarn, and also just show you how much yarn you will have left over, and you can make your little hat with it. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!